What is up everybody, and welcome back to the long-awaited Alex Reviews. So, uh, I've started school this week, and I've been real busy with that. I haven't had a chance to record anything over the past week. So, uh, that's why this is coming now on a Saturday. Um, new schedule. I'm going to try to upload on either Friday or Saturday every week, and then I'm going to try and upload on like a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. One of those three days. And it's not going to be exact every week. It might be one day one week and one day another week. Depends if I have homework that day. If not, I'll record and upload. Or I'm going to pre-record Saturday, but it, I'll upload on whatever day I don't have home, as much homework as I do on the other days. And that. So, and you might not get two a week. You might just get one. But, why am I doing this movie? If you've already clicked the movie, or you click the title or whatever, you know what I'm doing. I'm reviewing Cool Runnings. Why Cool Runnings? Well, for one, the Olympics started this week, and this is the only Olympics film I've ever seen. So, that actually gives me a reason to review it. But, two, people have been coming up to me recently. Alex, the Disney nerd, GH Rocky 100, what in the world is your favorite film? Well, I, I for a long time I've said... Any Quentin Tarantino film, you know, maybe Aladdin, Zootopia, a, a film like that, alright? But then I remembered, wait a second, this movie exists. Cool Runnings exists. And this is my favorite movie. Why is it my favorite movie? I think it stands the test of time. I think it's a movie, I, I, I like older films. I do not mind watching them, films from the 90s and the 80s and the 70s, as long as they're not completely ridiculous. Part of the reason why I don't watch Austin Powers. But, the films like this, these type of films are just enjoyable. They're fun to watch. Why do I really, do I think it's the best film ever made? No. It, no. It, it is definitely not. But, is it my favorite film? Yes. Let's see a little bit of why. Let's get right into the review. The originality of this film. It's a sports film. There's nothing really original about it. There's not much to say about it either. I'm going to give this a 1 out of 5 on the originality. It didn't really do anything except for them not winning, but that's only because this is based off of a true Jamaican bobsled team that was made, and they didn't win either. Um, and not everything in this movie is true. This is They were accepted fine when they got there, actually. Uh, the Germans weren't very mean to them. In fact, I believe the Germans were one of the nicer teams to them. Everyone was nice to them. Uh, none of the stuff in the movie actually really happened. Uh, I don't know about the sprinter thing. That might have been true. But I know that they didn't trip, and he didn't, and Junior did not trip the other two. So, uh, but they had to make this a movie. So they had to have conflict. So they made this. And to me, that's fine. This isn't meant to be a documentary. This is meant to be a movie for people to enjoy and people to watch. So, yeah. But it still gets a 1 out of 5, because I think they could have done a little bit more, maybe to shake things up, make it a little bit more original. The predictability of this film. Um, like I said, it's not original, it's pretty much basic stuff, it's predictable, like, big time predictable. But, one thing about it, it gets a 2, because they did not win. Now, I know why they didn't win, it's because they didn't win in real life. The, uh, the Jamaica Bobsled team actually crashed. But, if we're looking at a team like this, like uh, the Bad News Bears or the Mighty Ducks or these other sports films, you'll see that they always win in the end. However, with this film, they don't win. In fact, they don't even medal. Uh, I don't remember, I think they made it to the final round, like the final eight or whatever, but I, I think they came in last. Uh, it also wasn't a loose bolt was the reason why they lost. I forgot why. I think they just crashed because they were going too fast and they were not really experienced. But, 2 out of 5 on the predictability. It's a fairly predictable film, but the outcome is they didn't win, and that's good to see. The characters. I love these characters to death. We got Doris ba Bannock. I always say Banner, but it's Bannock. Sanka, Junior, Yol, and Irv. Those are the main five. They are amazing. Sanka is hilarious. Even Doris is hilarious. 
Uh, Junior, he's fun to watch, along with him, his relationship that grows between Yule and Junior, and the reason why Yule does not like Junior, because Junior tripped him and Doris from going to the Olympics two years ago, so they're, he's mad at him, but then he teams him up and tries to get him to stand up to his father. And then uh, Irv, now the only thing about Irv, I love John Candy by the way, so no fault on him. I don't like the liar. Re I'm kind of like the nostalgia critic. I don't like the liar reveal story. However, here I think it wasn't as cringeworthy as in, say, let's say, Chicken Run, where I felt I don't like cringe of any sort, whether it's humor to a YouTube video to I, I just don't like that. And that's kind of what Chicken Run does, and that's what the liar reveal story does. However, here. It was not. Irv and John Candy handled this very well, and it wasn't a huge deal. Like, the team overcame it very quickly. They weren't super mad at him, and they didn't make uncomfortable conversation with him. Therese did a little bit of that, but not too much. And that's where I think it should have been. 10 out of 10 on these characters. I love them to death. The story and the plot. Now... Like I said, it's not original, and it's fairly predictable. But there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's just the Jamaican bobsled team come, forms together, and they go to Canada, and they lose. There's It's it's pretty basic, but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. 9 out of 10 there. The moral of the story, it's the underdog story. The underdogs are going to come back and they don't always win. Underdogs do not always win, and this movie proves that. I like it. 10 out of 10. Is it or will it be dated? I don't see this film being dated in any sorts. Uh, 5 out of 5. Especially with Sanka. I'm laughing. I'm constantly laughing at Sanka, or something that Junior might say offhandedly. It just, it, it's hilarious. This film is probably one of the best comedic films of all time. Uh... I'm not going to go that far, but I mean, I love it. I'm laughing throughout this entire film. The pacing of the film, 5 out of 5. I don't want to leave my seat. I want to see what Sonic is going to... Mainly, Sonic is my favorite character in this. Love him. But I'm I'm intrigued in the story. Even though I know what's going to happen, I'm, just, I'm still intrigued. And it did trick me in the end. 5 out of 5 with the pacing. The impact of the film. This film impacted me. I felt so upset when they lost... I even felt upset for at least Darice when Junior tripped him. I mean, it's just like, man, you missed out on the Olympics because somebody tripped and they, they're not going to go back just for you. That that sucks. I This film is impactful. 10 out of 10 there. Definitely. Does it hit the target audience beyond? Never met a soul that said they hated this movie. Never. 10 out of 10. I mean, it's brilliant. The relatability of this film... The characters, all five of the main characters, basically, you can root for any of them. They are lovable guys, and the main four guys, they're still going strong. I checked all of them, and they are all still acting, and they all still have stuff coming out. Uh, but, anyways, to the relatability. Uh, they're very relatable, all five of them. It's brilliant. Ten out of ten. Uh, the acting. The acting was not bad at all. Uh, you had Leon play Doris Bannock. Um, he's pretty good. I mean, you can tell he's American trying to be a Jamaican. And I knew he's played the role before because I've seen him in other things. But, I mean, he doesn't do a terrible job. Dougie Doug. It's, it's Dougie Doug being Dougie Doug. I mean, he's hilarious. I love Sanka in this film. Dougie Doug does a great job. Raul D. Lewis playing Junior, Malik Yoba playing Yul, and John Candy playing Irv. This was one of John Candy's last films uh, before he died, and it, he did a terrific job with this film. Malik Yoba and Raul D. Lewis, they did terrific also. And those are the main ones. Brilliant job by all five of them. Nine out of ten. The overall enjoyment of this film... I don't see how you can't enjoy this film, to be honest. 10 out of 10. This film is brilliant, especially with the comedy um, and the story and the characters. Yeah, it's just a great film. Overall, I give this film a 9.1 out of 10. Now, you're saying, wow, that's a big ranking. Well, I kind of 
you know, like this movie. I think it's my favorite film. But, uh, yeah, this film's great. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Meet the Robinsons is next. It's probably coming on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not exactly sure which. I'm about to record it right now. So, um, leave suggestions for the next one, for next week's. Um, hopefully Kubo I'll be able to see. I also have a request to do something like, I don't know, like Coraline, which I'll probably do. Or, um, Paranorman or something. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at one of those films. I'm also looking to find The Hateful Eight. I want to do a Quentin Tarantino film. And, uh, I think everybody knows enough about Kill Bill and, uh, the Pulp Fiction, uh, to, for me to not need a review on those. But I really wanted to do The Hateful Eight. So, if I can get Coraline and The Hateful Eight next week, perfect. I haven't seen either of the films, so it'll be perfect for me. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. So, maybe put a suggestion in the comments for two weeks from now. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.